Hello. Good morning. <laughs> we said different things. I, well, it's almost not morning. Yeah, it's 27 minutes. No. Yeah, 27 minutes. Right? Yeah. Till, Til yes, noon. noon. Yeah. Anywho, we are on the road. On the road again. Headed away for our weekend getaway to Niagara area. Finally, something different for everyone to see. I know, we were just talking about it. It's been like a year since we last went away and we were away in Disney. I mean, we went to Florida, I guess, a couple times, but we were with like Rob's parents and my parents. So This time this last year. First. Yeah, this time last we year. We were stuck at Disney for 10 days. <laughs> no, we were stuck at Disney for two weeks, but also not stuck at Disney. So that was when, like, we were supposed to go. We were we were at Disney for like eight days, or no, five days, and then we were supposed to have a four day cruise, and then the hurricane came, so it got canceled. So we basically that's when we got stuck at Disney. We did get a little bit bored just because there wasn't much to do. But anywho, we still had a great time. Yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, you get stuck anywhere for over over a week, and you're kind of just like, okay. Well, it was just the fact that we went so hard Disney, like the first like five yeah, days, we and we expecting. did everything because yeah. we weren't expecting to stay, and then we ended up having all this extra time there, so that was the situation. But, anyway. so we are heading away for the weekend to go to Niagara Falls area, and we're going to stop today on our way and go to Bye Bye Baby because we don't have one near us, and that's really... We have going. Then I think we might check out Niagara Falls tonight. Yeah. I don't know. We're kind of just gonna play it by ear. We have a few things planned for the weekend that are um, like we're, we have to go to IKEA. That was kind of the main idea for this trip. So normally the closest IKEA to us is like in Michigan, but you know with COVID and everything we can't cross the border. So we're basically the closest IKEA after that is like four hours away so we thought you know what let's just make a weekend out of it because we really haven't done anything since March so gives us an excuse to go away so we got an Airbnb so we're not like staying in Niagara Falls we can kind of be like a little bit away we're not gonna go to any like sit down restaurants or anything we'll just be doing kind of like takeout and stuff because that's just not something we're comfortable doing being in the condition I'm in. Correct. <laughs> condition that is with child. So, uh, yeah, we're kind of, we're, I'm like a little bit nervous to see what the crowds are going to be like here. I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad. I mean, if it is, we obviously just won't go anywhere near there because we want to be safer than, you know, yeah. than, than, than normal. So. For sure. We yeah. brought like a ton of masks and yeah, so we got some shopping planned for this weekend and know you're adulting when your vacations are based off of a trip to Ikea. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, we'll have fun with it. We're going to have fun. We're going to bring you along. We're going to yeah. show you all the We're really just cool excited. things around that area. We're just honestly yeah. excited to have a little bit of change of scenery for once. Yeah. And this is most likely going to be our last trip until yeah. baby comes. So, and our last trip until God knows when because who knows when we're going to be traveling again and I don't think like there's nowhere for us to really go in Ontario. No, this is definitely like the closest landmark thing to see kind of thing so. Yeah especially like where we live it's kind of like we're kind of cornered so by the states so the states anywhere. Is all around us but we can't go to any of it. So. Right so yeah. we have to travel pretty far to get to anywhere in Ontario so yeah. It is what it is. Anyway. Yep so we will take you along with us for the weekend and we have a lot of stuff to buy at Ikea this weekend so hopefully it fits in the car if not then I don't know what we're gonna do but first stop is bye bye baby so if we remember to film anything in there we'll see you there then you will see that exactly <laughs> all right we are headed in and also I'm starving Go get some lunch.
next? I mean, a pit stop at HomeSense here. There's a lot of good stores here. There's HomeSense Winners, and then there's Marshalls down there. It's exactly. like all the stops. Well, we have been in the car for a couple hours now. Yep. We didn't end up getting anything at Winners, or we went to Winners and HomeSense and didn't get anything. Nope. Just kind of quickly ran in. I was starving. Yeah, we were starving, like, and then there's next level. Starving. starving. So we went to Subway and then we literally got stuck behind. You know, you go to Subway and then like the person in front of you orders like nine subs. Yeah, there's one, two and then, there's two people and I swear they had like 10 subs between the two of them. <laughs> and you'd be like, yeah, yeah, that one has that. No, no, not that. No, not this. Uh, oh, oh I'm telling you, when you have like a hangry pregnant woman, <laughs> you're like, oh, watch out. <laughs> so uh, we are, where are we? In Hamilton? Wait. Not quite, almost in Hamilton. We're almost in Hamilton, Ontario, which, fun fact, we started watching um, The Umbrella Academy yeah. on Netflix, and part of it, like, they actually use Hamilton, Ontario to film some of the, uh, some of the filming locations. Prepare to keep and, right oh. after three kilometers. We're Alrighty preparing then. to keep We're right. Preparing. So, uh, yeah, so part of it is filmed in, like, like Hamilton and like Toronto area, so same with the Schitt's, little yeah, Schitt's, Schitt's Creek, Creek yeah. yeah. So uh, fun fact of the day. So we are about in a little less than an hour away, I think, depending on traffic. Yeah. It is a Friday and it is a um, long, weekend. long weekend, so we're expecting more traffic, but we're gonna get to the Airbnb soon, and we will show you what it looks like when we get there. Okay, so we just made it to the Airbnb. It's one of those like basement, I don't know, it's gonna focus, kind of apartments. So there's some umbrellas and bags and a beach blanket. Done much of disinfecting. I didn't drink in here. Ooh. Bunch of products. And extra stuff. Some ironing board, laundry, some washers and dryers. And then I think like this is like they can use this spot. And then bathroom. Vanity. And then, oh, there's another light, there we go. There's a decent sized fridge, and then microwave, and they left a bunch of goodies in here. It's a Keurig with some coffee. I mean, there's like sugar and stuff. Bunch of stuff. There's a little table, couch. We have those side tables. Nice bed. I just hung up my shirt over there. There's some robes, and then a TV. It's pretty basic, but we figured we weren't really gonna be here, so it wasn't a huge issue. Oh, and the windows open. We've made it down, it's a little bit windy. Yeah. Walking past all the shops, there's a Hershey shop and Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock Cafe. We're just meandering. bridge there you used to be able to like walk across it because I remember as a kid you used to be able to stand on like one foot on the Canadian side and one foot on the US side so we're 
we're gonna head down to the Canadian side now, but it's kind of busy, so we have our masks on. they can see the Canadian Falls because it's better to see the falls on the Canadian side than the American because you can't see the Horseshoe Falls which are those ones on the American side. Look at that boat just get pushed right back. Are we not even, is it trying to come this way? No it's still it's still in neutral it's getting pushed back. I've been on that like once, I think, when I was a kid. Yeah. It's fun, you get wet. Yeah, it's so much the whole walk from the US Falls to the Canadian Falls and that's about it. It's all there is to look at. Yeah we're gonna walk up there maybe look at Clifton Street a little bit and then grab something to eat. So we found a path that's a lot less crowded. It's basically just above the road. 
that's where we were before. And now we're on this path. It seems to be a lot better. On some go karts. There's you know, uh, some sort of ride thing over there. I think that's like a haunted house thing. There's a uh, mini golf over there. This is like the um, kids area with all the Ripley stuff. We're at now is super packed in the street. The sun is so bright. Yeah, this is the touristy stuff we were trying to show you. And uh, it is packed. Down here in a couple spots where you're like stuck really close to people, so I'm not a huge fan. Twenty five bucks. Oh my god. It's crazy. Just put your just put your face under oh there and all. Oh my god, I want one of those. Look at all these ooh white chocolate ones. Oh, and the kind with the Reese's pieces in it. Oh uh, chocolate hugs. Oh I love these are my favorite, the hugs. Oh. The whole Reese's section. The entire section. Rob's like real hungry right now. He's dying for a nice. This treat. is a bad. This is a bad idea. <laughs> and Reese's are his favorite. Do you want some Reese's underwear? Reese's pajamas? Yeah. A mug and a shot glass and a cup. So much to choose from. Oh, the best stuff is these things where you pour over your ice cream. Oh, yeah. They have Reese's sauce. I don't know. I'm assuming it's peanut butter, but I have no idea. Cookies and cream. Yeah, you can get those at the store. Yeah. And <laughs> we need to come back and get Candy. some. I want ice cream too. I want everything in here. This looks pretty good. Is that a Jolly Rancher candle? It is. Orange scented candle, lemon candle. Cinnamon fire, Twizzler scented, and green apple. Interesting. All right, we need to leave the store. Because Hershey's Kiss is huge. Is he melting chocolate? Looks like he's taking those out of the Hershey Kisses out of the wrapper. Can't go out that way. Okay. We shall go out this way. Oh. The white chocolate ones. Yum. 
Alright, out we go. So it's quite a little bit later now. I think it's like what time? It's almost 8.30. And we walked around for quite a while and went into some stores at the end. We pretty much walked from one side of the strip down to the other and then back again. And then we went up this like huge hill. I am like, I'm beat. Beyond <laughs> tired. I'm so tired. I think we walked like, I did like 10,000 steps, like 9,000. No, I think I did 10,000 steps in that like walk. Yeah. So, I'm, like, so tired right now. We couldn't find anywhere to eat that we could, like, pick up food. So, it took us a while to find anything. We didn't end up staying late enough to basically see the falls lit up. So, uh, we just picked up some dinner from some place called Mick and Angelo's. It was some bar place right near where we're staying. So, I'll show you what we got. So I went for a really simple meal this evening and was not really that hungry. So, oh, I think this is your salad, Jir. All right, so Rob got us a normal salad, garden salad, and I got a Caesar salad. And then I think he got a um, Philly something. This does not look like the sandwich he got. I don't know what that is. Maybe it is. I don't see any beef on there. It looks like chicken. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. I don't want to touch it. And then I got some fries. I really just wanted salad and fries. That's all I wanted. I wasn't very hungry. So we're just going to eat up. Watch a little bit of TV. And then we're going to go to bed. Alright, Rob is back now. So we can sign off on the Finally, video. <laughs> I am so hungry. Like you have no idea. <laughs> he was like dying. We got back to the car and he's so hungry. I had like a foot long. It really threw lunch. me <laughs> off. I went through that M and no, it was the Hershey store, and honestly, I was like, no, I need that. I need that. I need that. Yeah, I'm he wanted like, okay, everything. We gotta go now. <laughs> and I had a, I literally had a foot long at lunch, so I'm like, and we mm. didn't eat till like two o'clock, so yeah. I was like, okay. But he only had a six inch. Mind you, your sandwich is always a lot more full than mine, but. Yeah, and I'm, I was driving too, so I didn't wanna, it was already messy to start off with, so. Yeah, so. Um, anyway, we're gonna eat now. We're gonna eat, and then we're gonna go to bed because I am like so tired. Mm -hmm. I'm like, the problem with like pregnancy, I feel like, is like you get tired very easily. You can go ahead and eat, dear, I know you're No, dead. it's okay. <laughs> I, I can manage two more minutes. You get like so tired just from like the things that didn't used to make you that tired, you know? We walked quite a bit today and, and there's a uh, quite a bit of an incline too. That back, one so. spot was like a horrible incline. I was like dying. It was a good like 10 minute incline walk, so. Yeah, so. She made it. It killed me. So anyway, now we're going to eat and then. Yeah, just go to bed, I think. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for more exciting adventures tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see what we get up to if I'm alive tomorrow. Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Good night. Good night.